naturally we're gonna like start all right this is bothering me hold on one second probably talk about this real quick like my one uh, um friend is making the argument that some that uh, having the sort option for higher to lower prices is like the most useless thing ever. I'm disagreeing with him in that, especially when it comes to like computer products and stuff like that. It's still a good thing to sort through. Just because, um... And uh, I just had to respond to that like saying like sometimes like the manufacturers that put out like the cheaper brand stuff uh, they're cheaper for a reason, because they're much lower quality, much more prone to breaking. That's my experience. I mean, just that, just because something's more expensive doesn't necessarily mean the quality is better, but when it comes to computers, more often than not, that is kind of the case. For a little while there, Logitech upped its quality. It seems like it's kind of taking a dip lately, but they used to be... They're... They were kind of like middle ground, then they were a little more on the expensive end, and... Now they still kind of are, but their quality's kind of like... Going down a little bit? I don't know. Well, I'll start the body like right here. I don't know how much of Ground Zero I have left. I haven't played it in a little while, I just need to... Adrenaline... Alright. I need to get a bit of a refresher on where, what I have and where everything is. Okay. Oh, this is gonna, like, suck. I think I need to use that, uh... Yeah, I need to use this adrenaline now. <laughs> what the fuck even killed me there? What the hell? What the fuck killed me? Oh, it's that hole. Okay. God fucking damn it. Adrenaline first, then save. Alright. You know what? I wonder. Will this work on, work on the turrets? And for some reason, I was just kind of stuck, so... It does work on the turrets. Didn't uh, do anything to this turret, though.
Okay. That was a nice little warm up. I like how I went from like a hundred health to like 33 health somehow. Like, holy hell did I lose a shit ton of health. Sorry, I'm stopping a lot, but... Like, it's a, it's a three-way conversation between me and, like, two friends right now, and we're... Me and my other friend are, like, arguing with my other friends. <laughs> Like, sometimes I, I have to respond because I have to get my point across. Good god. Th this level, I think, is going to seriously kick my ass. Wait, what? Oh, I, I loaded... I didn't load the quick save. There. This level is going to like seriously kick. Oh, this was before. All right. You know what? That's actually good. Oh, that's why. He must have gotten me with the, uh... He must have gotten me with the railgun. Nice, there goes 40 health. Sorry, right, I wasn't sure I actually killed it. See, this is why I'm not particularly a fan... I'm not particularly a fan of Ground Zero. They do a lot of these... They just seem to do a lot of these moments, and I don't remember having these moments nearly as much in the other camp- in the other, uh, campaigns, or episodes. Like, the main episode, and then, uh, and then the one before this. Where there just seems to be a ton of moments where you're kind of just stuck here, and you have to keep, like, going in and out in and out, in and out, just to get, like, the smallest shots in. And I feel like I have to save Scum a lot. Now, that could be enhanced by the fact that, uh, the AI was retuned. But I feel like that this was probably a problem in the original release as well. But maybe it wasn't nearly as bad. Sorry, 
So you know my problem with that, because it's really effective at killing them fast. The problem is it eats through that ammo. Really, really hard. Somehow managed to hit me. Like, thank God for the quick save. I can't imagine actually trying to do this without abusing <laughs> quick saves. Oh my God, especially with my derpy as hell aiming. Like, holy shit. I wasn't even moving that much and I was still missing. One of those shots, he takes away 20 health. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck right off. Of course they're going to put one of those guys there. It's not even that effective against them. I mean, this isn't either, but... Oh, fucking fuck right off. I hate this fucking enemy so much. He's gonna resurrect him again. 
I actually really hate this fucking enemy so fucking much. Oh my fucking god. He sucks all the fun out of us. Like I said, he's basically the arc file, except he's pretty much on steroids. That- did you see that? It literally went right through him. I call shenanigans. Another one here. Are you fucking Are you fucking joking? I am actually close to raging. They have two of these same arc vial on steroids motherfuckers. In this almost the same spot. Are you fucking serious? Oh my fucking god. I hate these fuckers so much. What makes it even worse on top of it? He doesn't just like resurrect enemies, he spawns in new ones if he can't find any. It's so fucking dumb. I actually hate that fucking enemy so much, he's so fucking cheap. I don't know why I am so fired up about that enemy in particular today, but I am. I'm hoping he's not in Quake 264 or Call of the Machine. I hope he's just isolated to Ground Zero. He gave himself away. Thank God. <laughs> Got an idea. Huh. Surprisingly, no one. That is totally not going to bite me in the ass, them being there, though. Nope, not at all. It actually didn't. 
So I was being totally serious. It wasn't going to completely bite me in the ass. It's totally not being sarcastic there. Nope, not at all. Now, someone told me in the last stream I remember to bunny hop more. And I appreciate the advice. The problem is, is that I have absolutely shit tier aim. That's why I don't usually bunny hop. I mean, I could probably, I'd probably have better aim if, uh, if my mouse sensitivity weren't the way it was, but, um, it's a bit uncomfortable if I tighten it. Worked out surprisingly well. Oh shit. He's not gonna come down. This motherfucker's. Oh, there are. I was gonna say, he's camping the uh, door. Yeah, okay, you're not getting back up after that. Come on. You know you wanna. I hate the I hate this just as much. The fact that they're smart enough not to jump into the traps. They'll just stand there and wait for you. Actually, the Hyper Blaster is 
I think, takes up less than the Friar does, even though the Friar does, um, faster, uh, is faster. Hey, John. I still kind of think the Hyper Blaster is probably a little bit better on them. How goes Quack 2? I can't wait till I'm done Ground Zero. Oh, Jesus. I was gonna say, is that gonna open? Again, I don't think Ground Zero was nearly as bad. I think it might have been due to the a some of the AI changes and the AI being generally smarter that, uh... And some of the extra attacks that they do. You tired of the turrets? The turrets are kind of like a minor nuisance. The medic commanders are what I have a real problem with because they, they're basically arc files on steroids. You know how I feel about arc files. But you know what? Even though arc files kind of annoy me, I still uh. I have a respect for them. I think they're be they're still balanced for the most part. Meta commanders just fucking suck. Yeah, I'm I'm in agreement there. Uh, let's... I, I even think, yeah, the, I can see how the uh, turret placement can be really dickish. I think in general some of the uh, enemy placements really dickish. I think Raven, at least for this expansion, because I think overall I never really had too much of a problem with their level design. I think just with this in particular, it like really showed like, okay, there was this mentality of, okay, so people got through the main campaign, we have to make the expansions like ridiculously harder somehow. How are we going to do that? But the funny thing is, the last campaign didn't feel that way. The last campaign overall, like, actually felt really good. This one, like... This one, you really start to feel that, like, alright, we gotta make this campaign more difficult. We have to, like, really bust the player's balls. Because they probably played the main campaign like 50 million times. So they know the ins and outs of everything. Yeah, once you got an idea of what they were trying to do with the Reckoning, and, you know, forgive me for kind of forgetting what the episode was called for a second there. <laughs> um, you could kind of predict it after a little while. It had, like, it was fairly consistent with... I don't know, I wouldn't necessarily say you couldn't predict what they're going to do in Ground Zero, but... Yeah, it just... Reckoning was like, oh, well, that was nice. Uh, wow, that ended uh, so soon. And then Ground Zero is like, oh my god, I just want to get this over with. <laughs> Again, I played far worse. Played far worse than this. I respect it enough where I, I can definitely see myself completing this. It's not like, uh, 
Jedi Outcast where I literally got uh, soft locked on one part and I would have to restart the entire level again if I were to actually play it. But God, I actually think I hate the meta commanders in particular. I think I hate them worse than the. Uh, than the slimes from the first quake. Which I keep forgetting their names because I'm terrible with names. I just realized he gets a shield back. Spawns. I always forget their names. I have a mental block on them. Probably because they're annoying as shit, but less annoying than a meta commander's. Could have killed me. At least you can... A lot of the time you can actually see where they are. Call the machines very good? Thank god. <laughs> a lot of mach uh, machine games are... Uh, that Since that was a new episode... Uh, machine games in general, I think, does good level design. I don't know if they did... They didn't do... I think it was one person from Machine Games that did the level design for uh, Doom 64's extra episode. I don't know if Machine Games is credited as a whole for that. I think they might be, but... Oh yeah, I still haven't played the, the new episode from... Uh, the first uh, Quake, because I never finished it. I never finished Dissolution of Eternity. I do have to get to that at some point. I don't know when I would, though. Because now I'm in a Halo mood. I think after I do Black Labyrinth, I might do a playthrough of the Halo series. Just because I've been playing Halo Infinite since, uh... DVD's kind of borked, and I don't want to deal with that at the moment. Because there, there's two things with DVD that I want them to fix before I actually start playing that regularly again, and that's, uh... The rubber banding on some of the maps that happens. I want them to fix that. They acknowledge that that's a problem, so that's at least one step forward. I also want them to fi fix the potential energy... And I'm contemplating whether or not I won't come back until they fix that as well. The potential energy exploit. For some reason, they have not disabled that perk, and I don't know why, because it gives... ...survivors that use it a MASSIVE advantage. I don't know how you actually do it, but it basically gives you infinite toolbox charges. So Survivor players are using a, a potential energy with, like, the best, the fastest toolbox in the game with stuff that makes it even faster. And they don't have to worry about, uh, losing the charges. Oh, 
The only thing that can really counter that too is uh, is Franklin's demise. And even then, you uh, you would not only have fucking hell. Well, that's my own fault. <laughs> you not only have to like knock it out of their hands, you also have to make sure they don't pick it back up. Where is he? Get back here. Stop being a coward. That's my job. Fuck off! Asshole. <laughs> but in, like, the meantime, uh, I've been having fun playing Firefight in Halo Infinite. It's kind of been putting me in a Halo mood. Yeah, I know, but this, uh, it's kind of agreed upon that this, uh, this mid-chapter patch is probably the buggiest that DBD has been since probably the, f since probably when Twins was first introduced into the game. For some reason, whenever they make changes to, uh, Twins, it just completely destroys the game as a whole. <laughs> I'm hoping that in the long run that we'll see less bugs over time because they might not be dealing with uh, blueprints anymore. So maybe the code can be, be pretty more straightforward for them to edit as opposed for them having spaghetti code with using Unreal Engine 4 blueprints. But I'm not sure if that's how it works exactly. Holy crap, that like escalated very quickly. I love how the strongest weapon in the game still didn't kill him. B. Nah, he's just that much of a dick. They knew they made the section hard because it gave you a uh, an adrenaline right off the bat. Oh yeah, this is very much. Why don't we just throw everything in the kitchen sink at them? I would have died there. This is definitely one of those times where they said just. Let's throw everything and the kitchen sink at them. It's definitely what they what it feels like. Is this fucker? That's probably why there was a lot of enemies coming around. Oh. 
fuck right off. Jesus Christ. this asshole again. I find it funny that I basically have to do the thing to him that everybody does to like each other in Halo Infinite Multiplier, just go back and forth and uh, take pot shots. Don't you just love it when you get like a shit ton of health and it gets taken away by like one shot from an enemy? I love that too. I feel like the railgun is like the saving grace for this campaign in particular because a lot of the time it just gets me out of shitty situations. It's a little colder today, but it's getting warmer in my room since I'm playing something, so... I don't think I need them on. I just realized the railgun goes through their shields. Because I still see blood whenever I shoot them. me or does this just feel really useless? Nice. There goes all that health I just picked up. Because he got one lucky shot on me. Box launcher is good for cheesing. When you absolutely positively need to cheese. Oh my god. 
my fucking aim is terrible today. This is so stupid. I think they're all dead now, though. Well, at least the thing that mattered is dead. No, I think it's still alive. I think it's just not here anymore. So I think I still hear it. Or maybe not. No, no, it's dead, it's dead, I did get it. Why are they giving me so many of these? I think that's the third one I saw. <laughs> yeah, like, I can't pick that up, game. I know, I know that's what you want me to get, game, but... I just had to wait. Computer update. Oh, they're up there. Thank you. 
And I'm still not 100% sure. I think I might just... I was going to stream Pacific Drive at first. But then I realized it's actually... It's kind of a roguelike. So I might just... It might just be a me thing. I thought, like, it maybe add an actual story to it, but I don't think it really does. I mean, it does have a story to it, just, uh, not much of one. I thought maybe the story would be, uh, like, still the primary thing about it, and, like, it'd be exploration-heavy. And it'd be kind of cool to, like, see stuff and, like, get spooked by stuff, but... But I'm still not entirely sure yet. Especially since I think a lot of the streamers that I watched, uh, they only really played it like once or twice. Again, not that it's bad. I I'll probably enjoy it. I'm just not really sure if that's something I want to actually stream. Because either I'm going to, like, only spend one or two streams on it myself, or... It's going to be something that's just going to consume way more time than I want it to. So I'll probably just play it on my own. It's the same reason why I don't really want to stream Subnautica. I do have that, and I do really want to play it at some point. Not enough hours in the day. And Subnautica looks like it would scare me. Like, legit. But I don't know, maybe Subnautica would be pretty fun to stream, since I think that would actually creep me out quite a bit. It's rare to find anything that would genuinely creep me out. Like, I have been creeped out by some things. It's usually... It's usually with something that feels more grounded. Like, I, I would have legit, like, played Welcome to the Game 2, like the first two, but I've watched them both already, so I wouldn't get the same experience. Because those would, those would be horror games where if I didn't watch them and I played them first and got to experience all that stuff for the first time. That's the stuff that would, like, genuinely terrify me because they're somewhat grounded in reality. I mean, they're not entirely realistic because in Welcome to the Game 2's case... Red rooms are not a thing, they're, uh, internet fiction. But the idea of it, like, there could be a red room. There never was really anything called, anything like a red room. Actually done in real life. As far as I'm aware. But it's something that if someone was sick in the head enough to do something like that, uh, it could be done. And that thought alone is pretty fucking terrifying. So that's the kind of stuff that would get me. Like, a lot of the stuff that would get other people, like, really immersed, like, uh... 
I think maybe, I think maybe Soma might. Even though that's not really grounded in reality. That's just because it, it's probably in, I think it's inc incredibly claustrophobic. I think it might be the reason. I never saw that before. The fuck is that? Whoa. Like, I still have not come to, like, the sheer... Like, nothing has terrified me more than that one indie game. That one indie game that was unfinished, by the way. In, uh, one of the Dread X collections. I forget if it was in the first or the second one. Where I legit had to stop. Oh, fuck. I legit had to stop and collect myself for a little bit, because it just freaked me the fuck out. Where are they? Oh. Really? Oh, we both have potato aim. I was gonna do that. God damn it. You can't even give me the pleasure of killing myself. In game. The fuck is this? Do I have that?
Unforeseen. I've seen some people use it. I think I tried using it once and I just couldn't get it to work right for me. I don't know, I like Trail of Torment a little bit better only because it's... If survivors can't get to that generator, then you just have it for like a long ass time. You can get a lot of value out of it. I knew that was the wrong way. Like, even with, like, people pointing out that I had it early on, like, I've seen stream, uh, other streams of people when I've used it on, like, Deathslinger. Like, they figure out quickly that I have it sometimes, but that still doesn't stop them from, like, me surprising them. Or it really doesn't stop me from surprising them. Just speaking about like multiplayer games again, um Gruntocalypse isn't actually gone. They made it a variation for Firefight. Which I'm glad, because that mode's fun as hell. Although I think I even pointed that out last time I actually streamed Halo Infinite, so. This is not a good weapon to have out right now. This is not a good weapon to have out right now. I already hit that, didn't I? Yeah. suck shit today. Which is funny because it was just fine earlier. Oh my god, my aim sucks! <laughs> my aim is awful today. Holy shit. Thank you. 
No. Look, if you were in there already, you probably deserve it, alright? I'm such a dick. No! Oh, we're gonna fight a big boss here, aren't we? she has probably two phases. Maybe not. Are they already dead? I don't think that's it, because otherwise I think the level would have just ended. Yeah, that's not it. Basically, the Spider Mastermind. Oh, God.
found a way to avoid that. Somewhat. I shouldn't have picked that up. Surprisingly hard boss with an incredibly simple way to uh, beat it. How would you do that on the harder difficulty, though? I wonder. That mostly seems like an endurance test more than anything. Oh, I even had an adrenaline on me, too, so I could have used that. Oh, and the double damage. I completely forgot about the double damage as well. That's on me. Oh, I guess we're not done yet. Well. Or maybe we are done. Oh. Oh god. Have to leave. Yeah, I think that's the end of Ground Zero then, isn't it? Oh, I thought we'd see, like, the whole base explode or something. That sucks. Uh, I was gonna say, that'd be, like, the worst ending ever. Am I gonna make it? Boom. Your character dies. Now yes, it works, Private. We're reporting total destruction of primary target and huge secondary chain reaction explosions all across the planet's surface. Nothing's living on that rock. What about the others? There aren't that many left to retrieve, Stepchild. You're one of the lucky few that made it out of that inferno in one piece. Let's get the hell out of here. Why the hell are the cutscenes so quiet? Okay, we've seen this, like, several times now. Okay, um... I think this might be a good time to take a break, but, uh, before we do that... I want to show you something real quick. That for some reason, like, it it's, gets me, like, unreasonably... I think is, like, unreasonably hilarious. Just no context, but you'll see who this is in a in a second. Recruit 
Walker just died. I just wanted to show that off real quick. Uh, that's Will Borger. Um, he's uh, one of my favorite YouTubers. Here, move Duck Friend over a little bit. No, not that. Not that. OBS, please. There. Uh, go follow him <laughs> on uh, YouTube. I have not that entire video. That's it's about twenty minutes long. Uh, that entire video is just ridiculously insane. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, I'm gonna take a break now. Okay, we're back. So I've actually been kind of looking forward to this because of Aubrey Hodge's music. Nice, you even get the uh, N64 intro. I'll have to look up the soundtrack for this as well. Oh, what? It's the N64 textures. At least it looks like it anyway, because... <laughs> the enemies are higher res, but... Uh, well, that's not an enemy, but... Like, this is l really low res. I guess they didn't upscale this. Oh yeah, it looks significantly different. You see, I'm a little surprised they didn't upscale the textures for Quake 2 64 because... They did it for Doom 64. You know what, maybe this was originally supposed to be like... You know how with Quake 64, it was like an add-on? I think they wanted to do like an add-on thing for Quake 2. And I think this was meant to be a an add-on. I don't know, I'm just talking out of my ass here. I don't have any proof for it. Because otherwise, I think if this was meant to actually be part of the release, uh, I think they would have probably upscaled the textures. So I think this was a mention, uh, originally meant to be an add-on, but I don't think uh, they were going to have like like the add-on thing like they did for previous releases. So that's probably why they put just put it in as part of the episode. I don't know. That's what I'm guessing. I'm probably wrong. Although all the textures seem relatively the same, so I'm surprised they just didn't use like the main game's textures. It is nostalgic though.
I meant to pick that up, not fall down. I'm guessing this might be slightly longer than the other two episodes were, but I could be wrong about that as well. Can I turn up the music volume a little bit? Yeah. Aubrey Hodges has more has a more atmospheric approach to his uh to how he does things, so it's probably gonna sound a lot quieter than the normal music would be. I wonder how they converted this over to, uh... ...to the PC release. I think I see some different textures, so maybe that's why. Yeah, I think I'm seeing some different textures. Definitely the floor. I haven't seen this floor before. Also, that lens flare. That's very N64 lens flare. Use the adrenaline. I don't think. So I guess the rules were different on the N64. This room seems familiar. I feel like I've. This is probably an area in, like, the original game. I could stand to increase the music volume even more. Explosive charges, that's new. 
Oh, it's an item. Well, uh, it's a key item. Yeah, you automatically pick it up. I'm wondering if there are no uh, reserve items in Quake 264. I'm assuming that's the case if uh, if it's on pickup. Just flat out tells you, uh, sorry, but it doesn't. We don't allow crouching here. Wait, what? This music. This music's kind of groovy, actually. Hold on. Turn it up even more. We gotta hear the grooviness. Soundtrack's a tad different for Aubrey Hodges. I mean, you have the ambient stuff, but then you add that groovy track. Yep, hey, zombie. I'm doing pretty good. Kind of feel relieved that uh, Ground Zero is finally done. Well, uh, this is like a tad different, I wouldn't necessarily say. It's completely different, because I think you've we had these in uh, at least the main campaign of Quake 2, but I don't think we had them in the two episode two other episodes.
I'm almost gonna have to use my pistol. Oh no, wait, I have the grenade launcher, I forgot. I always love the lighting on N64. It had like this like weird neon vibe to it at times. Oh shit. I'm not sure if I want to save just yet because I have no health. levels aren't very long. They probably felt a lot longer on the N64 because there is no way they got 60 FPS on the N64. remember this level. So these levels aren't entirely, like, brand new. I think some of them are, but others are probably recreations of the ones from the main game. Because I'm recognizing a lot of these areas.
Yes, this is definitely feeling like this was supposed to be an add-on campaign, not like actually part of the game. Release. It's Quake 60. Quake. The first game's 64 iteration was like that. I'm actually wondering. This game does not have a workshop, does it? Like a Steam Workshop. Well, no, I don't think... I don't think any... I don't think Quake had a Workshop either. I think you did it all through the game itself. There goes all my health. Oh great, there's two of them. Hey, that could be a new challenge at some point. Play, uh... Either the original or the emulated version of Quake 2 64. <laughs> I want to do that with Doom 64 at some point. I'd have to actually buy... I'd have to see if I could find a, like, functional... Like, N64-like controller. Because all of my N64 controllers are broken. So, I need to find one for PC that's, uh, that works relatively well. But I'd do that for Doom 64 first.
Oh, this is the end of the level. Hang on, I want to go back. So I want to see what's down there. Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting. Oh, it's Mega Health. There's like a whole, there's like a whole section of this level that they just got rid of. But yeah, that, that just confirmed it. All of the pickups, like not just select pickups, all of the pickups. Are, uh, you use them instantly rather than being able to hold on to them. Side. Nice, there goes half my health. Because I misjudged it. Oh god, that was a bad quick save. Oh hey punch. Welcome everyone from Punch's stream. Currently in the process, I just finished Ground Zero and I'm currently doing Quake 264. First ever playthrough of Quake 2 in general. Forgot they can do that. They move slower in general. I thought they actually couldn't dodge. Remove strafe jumping. You know, I actually think the Night Dive remaster made it so you can't do that either. Unless you mean like I can't do I couldn't even do this in the original release. Cause I do know you can't crouch. They already told me that. <laughs>
extra frames between when you land and when you can jump again to the light. Don't know why. Uh oh. Did I just soft lock myself? I really hope I didn't soft lock myself. Oh no, wait, there we go. I pressed spacebar. You heard me press spacebar. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't matter anyway, because I'm stupid. Uh... What do you do here? Because I can't make this jump. Can I? No, you can't make that jump. Oh, okay, so I am supposed to go back. I saved. Yeah, fuck that shit. <laughs> Let's kill him quickly. God fucking mother pus. Yeah, they do. Ju they just do not give you enough ammo. 
think that's where the difficulty lies. All right, I'm just gonna run through it this time. I don't have enough ammo to deal with them. Nope, that doesn't work. This part sucks. This wouldn't be so bad if I had more ammo. And you know, those assholes just didn't dodge my shots half the time. Break. Not gonna help at all. Because there's a shit ton of enemies up here. And I have nine health. Not really a sequence break either. Naturally, all that's in there is 10 health. Uh, are you serious? All that's in there is 10 health. Yeah, I thought this was almost easier at first. And then I realized they just don't give you any resources at all. That's where this one's hard. Oh, there we go. Thank you. 
<laughs> and now they're gone. I doubt you could actually do that in the original release. Oh yeah, if I go down there, I'm dead. Oh my god. So hurt him a little bit. Okay, John. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. God, it almost looks like I took my glasses off sometimes. Looking at, uh, <laughs> these textures. This is not good. Never mind. Are you dick? Yeah, 
He like dodged it even when he wasn't active. That's so dumb. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, they're such dicks. Oh yeah, right. Man, I can't even teabag. Oh my god, how many of them are they gonna put in here? Jesus. Now this in particular does feel like a new level. This doesn't feel like something that I played in the original. Oh. Wait, did that actually say quad damage this time? It seemed like it said quad damage. They're not gonna come down, are they? Nope, they're gonna be ass hats and just camp the doorway. Er... <laughs> Mission objectives incomplete. the first time I think I've ever gotten that. Huh. 
I think I've ever gotten that warning. Didn't I get all of the charges? Apparently not, but it's not telling me where the third one is. I got it now. Oh, great. Now it's telling me. I don't know where... Oh, here we are. Thank God. I was going to say. I think I might play for another hour. I don't think I'm going to go for the full four hours again. Oh my god, this is such a clusterfuck. This is such a clusterfuck. to deal with all of them. I do want that. How do I get that? Oh, I remember this part. Funny enough, despite a lot of these sections being harder than I think the original Quake was, the section was easier. <laughs> get that, but I don't know how. I feel like a lot of these areas, they all manage to kill each other. Oh, this is on five instead of... Oh, no, wait. Yeah, it is supposed to be on five. Never mind, I'm stupid.
God, I, I think I'm already like halfway through this. Maybe like slightly less than halfway through. Stick that thing in my face. That's what she said. I'll go sit in the corner. I feel like the rest of this, uh, like the rest of this campaign is just going to be all low gravity. I don't remember ever having invisibility before. I don't know what that did. Oh, that's what it did. Let me guess, there's no more enemies left in the area either, so this is gonna be useless.
Oh my god, this is very <laughs> N64 looking. Holy shit. Very, very low cave rock texture. Finally have normal uh, gravity. Holy shit. So is this supposed to be ice? Because it looks like water. How is there another one over here? What the fuck? Oh, that's why. I must have activated him. I like how it looks like you're just walking normally, but you're not. If you press forward, you're making like the tapping noise like you're walking, but like I'm literally pressing nothing. dodge almost every single one of them. This area looks like something from Doom 64. Almost. Not 100%, but...
I need to go back up there. I had this much ammo for it. I had a feeling I wouldn't be able to escape them. Honestly, I might stop a little early. I might stop in like 20 minutes. Not that I'm not feeling it, but I'm kind of getting like tired of it a little sooner than usual. I don't know, I think maybe Ground Zero maybe exhausted me a little more than I thought it would have. I have been playing a lot of this game, so. Also, I'm good, I'm not used, i not yet ready to go back to like four hours. I don't want to overdo it and then uh, burn myself out again. As much as I've enjoyed Quake 2, I'm like kind of eager to get to something else. That was an elevator. I did do a double take. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Huh. <laughs>
Holy shit. Okay, I didn't expect it to get this this early. And again, I don't think I have too many more weapons left to get. Uh, I missed out on the railgun. Or at least when I could initially get it, but I'm pretty sure that was because it was a secret. At least I hope I have another opportunity to get the damn thing. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't expect to see that there. God fucking damn it. Alright. New plan, just don't fucking move. Nice. Just flat out murders my ass. Maybe I should get this. Maybe I should get that first. I think both times I uh, walked into the laser. There. No, he actually, like, fucking destroyed my ass that time. I went from, like, 102 to 25 in, like, two hits. With no armor. God, where the fuck is it safe? Get fucked. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Jesus, I might actually... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it'll be another hour, to, but I, I really don't want to keep going for a whole other hour. I think, like, the whole challenge there earlier was solely just lacking in resources. Don't 
duck. You know what I would like to do? But I'm kind of afraid to do it because I'm afraid that the game will just flat out crash constantly is uh, a Fallout New Vegas run. I haven't installed. I think maybe I should test it to just. I think maybe I should just play it for like a couple hours on my own. See it. Just kind of see how well it runs. Because I've had, I've had terrible problems with that game. But the last time I tried playing it, it was modded. And the mods that I downloaded were to try and fix the crashes, and it might have even made things worse, so maybe, uh... Maybe I should just play it completely unmodded. See, I was gonna do a playthrough of Fallout 3, like, a little while ago. Like, on my own. And... I had a small amount of mods. Nothing major. And it was running fine up until I got to a certain part of the game. And it just kept crashing, like, over and over and over. Oh, God, fucking... You know what? Yeah, reload. Oh yeah, I remember this part too. I could technically... I think I could actually do the rocket jump here. But I don't think it's worth it. Actually, keep that there for now. That's a full heal. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sequence broke. God damn it, I'm gonna go this whole playthrough without the railgun, aren't I? Oh, 
Oh god. Oh no, wait, there it is. It's probably where it was in the original as well. Fuck off. Mother fucker. With that, I think I'm done for the night. <sighs> I, and I almost think I'm done with uh, Quake 264. It is. It seems like it's surprisingly short, but appearances can be deceiving. Holy crap, this looks familiar. Notice there's a lot more blues in the... Uh, that's one thing I've noticed, is that Quake 264 is surprisingly colorful. There's like a lot more uh, blues and less browns. But yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. <laughs>